We're in the deep. I, Richard Bentley, is going to visit my cousin Dean after his surgery and is also seeing my nephew Bray at the cemetery in Sydney. My sister is accompanying me on this trip. Thank you for watching. The weather is really nice today and I haven't caught a train since 2014. Last time I was at the train station, I was throwing sausages on the train line. Roughly work over the Christmas New Year period, the following timetable will apply. From Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, up to and including New Year's Day, Sunday, the 1st of January. At this point, I wasn't sure if that was a voice in my head or it was really someone explaining a whole lot of nonsense I didn't fucking understand. But I guess that's part of um, catching a train these days. When you get on the train, you, you get a freak out because things have changed since 2014. Like now you have to have open tickets. Yeah. Um, uh, and what was the other thing? Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, oh god, fuck. It's alright, you can edit this shit. Shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> nowadays, it's this lady, right, she talks to you all the time. And she tells you and reassures you all the time that you're going to be alright. <coughs> they're not. They're, they're going to be alright and that you're not. The next station's coming up and if there's any delays. So where else did you throw body parts? Well, my sister was right. A lady does announce when the next stops are. And that made me feel alright. I was excited. There were people on the train, especially elderly ones. I have to admit, I had a little bit of anxiety on the train. I thought people were watching me. An interesting fact about train lines. Many people commit suicide on them. And some people jump off train bridges. Well, 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 did you hear that? That was an announcement. My mate Rob told me it's always important when you go on a train trip to... Make sure you vape and bring a bottle of water to keep hydrated. Can't take you anywhere, can't be drooling. I have to be honest, it is a stressful trip. I'm worried about my cousin's legs, Dean's legs. I hope they do something about them, or just fucking chop them off. <laughs> well, I don't know what that guy's fucking problem was, but maybe he's a fucking pervert. Like this guy I know called Tom. <coughs> I'm excited, like Big Kev used to say it.
can't wait to see Dean. And I can't wait to see my nephew, Bray. I'm going to do a fresh shit on Bray's grave. And I'm going to throw Dean's legs out the hospital window. Alright guys, at this very moment, I've fucking had enough of editing this video. You know what? I can't be fucked going all the way down to Sydney to visit Dean. Whilst, who knows what's going to happen. His legs are going to be missing. I can't fucking do anything about that. It's his own fucking fault. And Bray, he's going to be buried in the same place. I'll just visit him some other day. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Uncle Rich, your cousin Rich, your mate Rich. But one day, Rich is going to go to town and he's going to fuck you up. All right. Thanks again. Be safe. Be good. And fuck you, you fat fucking cunt.